Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Common English Mistakes. Don't just learn, improve. So today we're going to look at a few verbs and phrasal verbs, uh, which all have a similar meaning, but can often sound very strange when people use them in the wrong context. So I'm going to show you how and when to use these to sound much more like a native speaker. So the mistake I hear a lot is up here. I went out of the party at midnight. So just pause the video and try to correct the sentence. And well done if you said, I left the party at midnight. Talk about exiting places, buildings, countries, cities, etc. Generally, you want to be using the verb leave. Make sure you don't use it with a preposition. I hear this a bit. I left from my office. Just I left my office, and you can use it with other things. I left the UK a few years ago. I lock the door when I leave the house. Generally, just use the verb leave. So when do we use the phrasal verb go out or go out of somewhere? So firstly, I would say when it's more of a temporary thing. There was a noise outside, so we went out to see what it was. I'm just going out for a bit. Call me if you need something. Sounds better there with no object to use go out rather than leave. And the same if there's an object, a place. My phone started ringing, so I went out of the room to answer it. The fire alarm went off, so we went out of the building. Both of those are okay, but I would just say, keep it simple. If there's a place, just use leave. Leave a building, leave a place, leave a country. Keep it simple. But the main reason we use go out is situations like these. I usually go out on Saturday night to a bar or a restaurant. Uh, let's go out dancing on Friday night. So just pause the video and think what's the context of these two sentences. And well done if you said go out is usually used to talk about leaving your home and going to enjoy yourself. And generally the context I would use it in is to talk about nightlife. Friday night, Saturday night, bars, restaurants, clubs. That's when you should be using it to sound natural. And it works for children as well. Uh, it's important for children to go out and play in the park with other kids. Although generally I would use the phrase go outside. It's important for children to go outside. Also, uh, I would say we use this phrase to talk about when there's sunshine, fresh air, this sort of context. It's a lovely day, let's go outside. But just be careful because I suspect there are similar phrases in other languages which you don't use in the same way in English. For example, I hear this a lot. We went outside and played football in the park. Sounds a bit funny to me. I would say here, much more natural, just we went to the park. So that's leave, go out. Uh, for the opposite, enter, go in, it's a bit different. Firstly, we only use these to talk about going inside places or buildings. To just come to a place, use arrive. You wouldn't say we entered the party at eight. We arrived at the party at eight, at the place. And the main mistake I hear, uh, and the one to watch out for, is that students want to use enter with a preposition. Enter, like leave, doesn't have a preposition. So, not when I entered to the room. When I entered the room, I said hello. And generally, these ones are a bit easier to use because you've got a bit more flexibility. Enter somewhere, go into somewhere, if there's an object, a place. Enter, go in with no object. The main difference, however, is the context of when you should use each one. So look at these two sentences. When you enter the USA, when you go into the USA, they take your fingerprints, both sound fine. But then the film starting, shall we go in? 
but not the film starting, Shall We Enter? So just pause the video and think, why does the second one sound a bit strange? And well done if you said that second sentence, Shall We Enter the Cinema, sounds very, very formal. For everyday situations, you want to be using go into, go in for entering a place. So that's the explanation over. Main things to remember, if you're talking about exiting a place, building or country, I would just use the verb leave. Sometimes you can use go out of if it's temporary, but leave is fine. Make it easy for yourself. Just use the verb leave. Also, we use go out to talk about leaving your home, to enjoy yourself, especially if it involves nightlife, Friday, Saturday night. Go outside is a good equivalent for children or when the weather is involved. It's a beautiful day. Let's go outside and play in the park. And then the opposites, enter, go into somewhere, enter, go in, no object can be used interchangeably, but I would only use enter for more formal or sort of technical situations. For everyday life, use go into, go in. So that's the summary. Um, I do think this video has given you a good context of when to use these that maybe you don't get from a textbook or another channel. So do make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, help this channel grow. When you're ready, let's practice and improve. Just pause the video and put one of the verbs or phrasal verbs into the sentences. And remember, you might have to change the form of the verb. And well done. If you said, I last left my house to go to the supermarket. Uh, I don't like going out or going outside when it's cold. I would say go outside is better here because there's weather involved. Um, I had to show ID when I entered or went into a nightclub on Friday. Both are okay there. And then I used to go out a lot more on a Friday night when I was younger to bars, clubs, enjoy myself. Uh, I had to show my passport when I entered, went into India, both are okay there. Um, and finally, I had such a nice time in Italy for my last holiday, I didn't want to leave. So now just pause the video and write, say or discuss the same sentences for you. And finally, today's question, uh, what city, place, country didn't you want to leave? Do write your answers in the comments, guys. Again, always interested to hear what you've got to say, and it'll help you to practice the language. So that's basically it for today. Um, that one causes a lot of problems, so always worth watching, and do share the video with other people you think might find it useful. Other than that, I'll see you in another Common Mistakes video in the next couple of days. So until then, see ya.